Can you not do that while I'm trying to film? That will be great. Good morning, keto followers and my normal fans that follow my channel. Welcome. Welcome to a Saturday vlog, which means I'm in the kitchen, so I'm going to be cooking up a new keto-friendly delicious meal. Coming into winter, it is getting cold, it is getting freezing, and we tend to eat a lot more in winter as well. So, to be mindful of what we are eating extra of, we're going to make sure it's healthy and we're going to make sure it's keto. So, what is a yummy winter dish that I have missed while being on keto? Because normally it's very high full of carbs. So, today I'm going to show you how to make a healthy keto chicken curry in only 40 minutes. With my little helper with me this morning. This is my dog for those that don't know. This is my Alaskan Malamute mare. She's very old and after just losing our recent mate, she hangs with me in the house a lot now. So she loves watching me cook and hopes to get little bits of the leftovers at the end. Alright guys, so for our ingredients for our keto chicken curry, we're going to use one kilo of chicken breast, one onion, a teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of turmeric, um, a tablespoon of curry powder, some salt and pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of crushed ginger. I have obviously run out this time. Um, two tablespoons of coconut oil, half a cup of water, and most importantly, one can of premium coconut milk. Don't get the diet one, don't get the low fat one, just get the natural pure coconut milk. Alrighty, so first we're going to cut up all the chicken and the onion and we'll put it in a pot on the stove, medium heat, whack the coconut oil in and all the other ingredients. So don't put the coconut milk in until later on. We're going to cook all this first, we're going to mix this all up first in the pot on medium heat for 20 minutes, let it simmer away with the lid on. And then we're going to tip in the coconut milk and let it all mix together for another 20 minutes at the end. Make sure you cut them all around the same size. You don't want some under cooking or some smaller bits cooking before the rest. So before I cut up the onion, before I, woo, so before I cut up the onion, I'm going to put the stove on medium heat. I'm just going to heat up our pan. I've just washed it out, so there's a bit of water left in there, but that's alright. I'm going to heat up our pan and put in two tablespoons of my favourite coconut oil. So I'm using my favourite Flavorstone non-stick cookware pot. This is where I do all my soups and stews and things in. So now that's going to look like a lot of oil. If you guys um, don't want to use coconut oil, you can use olive oil or two tablespoons of good old butter or ghee. So I'm just going to turn that down a bit because I've still got the onions to slice up. But I just thought I'd get the pot warming up, get that coconut oil in there. Now it does look like a lot of oil, but don't forget coconut oil is very good for you. It is um, great for the body, but also has MCT in it as well. If you don't know what MCTs are and why they're good for keto, guys, look it up. Um, what are you doing? Just supervising? All 
Alrighty, so oil is nice and hot. I always like throwing the onions in first before the chicken. I like making the onions brown up. It just tastes really good. So I'm going to put them in just for a minute. I'm going to put them in just for a minute. Alrighty, so onions are looking good. I'm now going to tip all of that chicken in. Just going to cover that so it can cook evenly. All right, so now we're going to make the yummy curry paste. Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, Shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. She said, in the pot with half a cup of water. First of this mix up all your chicken, make sure it's all cooking evenly. Slowly add your spices. Add your half a cup of water. And now we're going to let this simmer for 20 minutes on medium heat with the lid on. Get those nice flavours mixing well together. Now, don't just sit down and think that your job's done. Make sure you clean as you go. I always try and tell my husband this as well. Clean as you go, it makes it less mess to deal with at the end. Now guys, you always know that I always say meal prepping is the key and it's so true. I find if I don't meal prep for the week, then I sometimes fall off the keto wagon while just binging whatever's in the fridge or just going out and buying lunch when, you know, if I do meal prep properly, my lunch, dinner, snacks are already done for the whole week. So just because you're doing a big batch like I'm doing the chicken curry right now doesn't mean we can't keep meal prepping for more meals throughout the week especially snacks. Now one of my favorite snacks, which is really good for you, high in protein and high in fat is, of course, eggs. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, while the stove is on, I'm gonna also boil up about six eggs and they're gonna be my snacks throughout the week. Or, you know, I've been eating them lately at 11 a.m. to break my fast. So I haven't been having big breakfasts lately because I find I don't really need it. I'm not very active through the day as I have an office job when I'm just sitting on my butt all day. So I find if I have a boiled egg at 11 o'clock, that get me, gets me through to lunch at about 2 p.m. So I'm going to boil some eggs for snacks and I'm also going to make another recipe while I'm waiting using my air fryer. Guys, if you haven't got an air fryer, you really need an air fryer. Saves so much time. You don't even need to preheat it like an oven. So I'm going to make a cheesy cauliflower bake with zucchinis my favorite so let's get this recipe started so these cauliflower bakes are going to be either my dinner or lunches but at least i can break it up through the week i'll have chicken curry maybe for lunch one day and cauliflower for dinner or vice versa this is a quick easy throw together recipe all you need is half a head of cauliflower um two zucchinis and about 300 grams of shaved cheese of your liking i'm going to use mozzarella so I'm going to cut up the cauliflower, boil it in the microwave for about six minutes so it's a bit soft, cut up my zucchini, put them all in this mm, glass dish and then cover it in cheese and put it in the air fryer. Now I am a huge fan of cauliflower. I love it. It's so good for the body. It's healthy. It's very low calorie and it fills you up. But if you have followed my vlogs, you will have noticed that I have not eaten much cauliflower in a long while. 
Um, I used to eat cauliflower every day and then it resulted in an overload of cauliflower inside my body causing bad bloating and stomach pains. So this is probably the first time I've had cauliflower in a while, this amount, so we'll see how it goes. But just a caution for people out there like me, if you have sensitive stomachs to things like cabbages, you know, very high fiber foods like cauliflower, just be careful not to cook it all the time. Um, or if you do try this recipe for the first time and notice within two days you're getting bloating and stomach cramping, it could be due to the cauliflower. Before I start prepping the cauliflower bake, I'm just going to check on our chicken. It's been on for 10 minutes now, so... Ooh, a bit steamy. It's coming along good. So I'll let it simmer for another 10 minutes on low. And then I'll put the coconut milk in. So I've got the cauliflower in the microwave. It has now been 20 minutes of our yummy chicken simmering. So now it's time to tip a whole can of coconut milk in. Mmm. Looks beautiful. Stir that all in. If you're like myself and you really love salt and pepper, you can now add another salt and pepper to the mix. Alright, so I've just cut up all the zucchini. I'm going to grill it in the air fryer just for a little bit while the cauliflower is cooking in the microwave. <laughs> she thinks she's going to get some zucchini. She's going to sit, I bet ya. Yeah. yeah. Good fit. Pop this dish into the air fryer, just so I can air fry the zucchini a little bit, just so it's not being cooked raw with the cauliflower, because the cauliflower is just being, sorry. The cauliflower has just been boiled for six minutes. So I'm going to just cook the zucchinis a little bit before I mix them all together with the cheese in the air fryer. So this is my air fryer. This is the 5.5 litre Kitchen Chef air fryer. It is great, I have had no issues with that. I'll put a link below of where you can buy this amazing machine. Um, I'm gonna set the degrees for 200 degrees. As this is not like an oven, you do not need to wait 20 minutes to preheat it. You set the time, set the degrees, shove it in, there you go. So I'm going to cook the zucchinis for about five minutes before I mix them all together with the cauliflower and cover it in cheese. Lately I've been waking up alone. Alrighty, coconut milk is kicking off. As you can see the mixture is starting to get really thick now. Now guys, everybody's taste is different. So I always, always recommend, if you're cooking something, don't just go off the recipe book, always taste it. If there is something else that you think it needs, just add it in, because we all have different tastes. Some people like things stronger than others. You know, it's up to the individual. So always taste your cooking before you serve it up to anyone, or before you say that it's complete. Because it may always need a little extra something else. delicious really it's got a real coconut flavor a real coconut hit to it Main, mainly also because we cook the chicken and the onions in coconut oil and also the coconut milk has been added to it now so it's really got a nice coconut flavor it's not spicy it's not hot now for someone like me who loves chilies I'm actually going to put some 
chili flakes into this just to give it a bit, bit of heat. Mm. But it's very, very delicious. I know some curries like this one are not supposed to be really, really spicy. Um, I love my chili. So that's what I mean. Like if there is something missing and, you know, I eat a lot of hot foods. Um, so as soon as I tasted this curry, I thought it's very bland for me. I do like a bit of spice, a bit of heat, which is why I've added the chili flakes. So that's got another probably 15 minutes to simmer now with the coconut milk and everything in it. I will keep the lid on so I don't lose any of that moisture. But um, let me let me taste a bit with the chicken. Looks good, nice golden curry color. Mm. It's really nice. Mm. The chili flakes are giving it a bit of heat now, but that sauce is beautiful. Mm. I'm going to put the lid on because I'm going to sit here and eat the whole thing in a minute. <laughs> Alrighty. So the air fryer has just softened up the zucchini for me. Now I'm going to add it to the bowl with the cauliflower and whack it in. The cauliflower has softened nicely in the microwave now. So this should be a really delicious bake. add some salt and pepper for flavor you can add any spices that you'd like as well guys if you want to add some paprika some you know curry powder turmeric anything that you like I have also added some barbecue spice which is some chili flakes salt and pepper a bit of basil as well so once your seasoning is on start adding your 300 grams of shredded cheese beautiful now to put it back in the air fryer for about 20 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. I'll check on it again in 5 minutes, um, sorry, in 10 minutes to see how it's going. Alright, so the eggs are boiled. My snacks for this week are done. I'm going to let them cool off and then put them in the fridge. And in probably three minutes, our chicken curry will be done. So I've been cooking for about an hour and a half this morning, guys. And so far, I've got a chicken curry ready for lunches this week. Um, we've got a cauliflower and zucchini bake cooking in the air fryer. And I've also done my snacks. So if you take about two hours out of the day on a Sunday or Saturday on your weekend and just get stuck into meal prepping, it's easy as that. And it'll become a healthy habit for you as well. So let me know some of your favorite meal prepping ideas as well that you guys love to make and, you know, put in little containers to take for work each week. Alrighty, it's been 40 minutes all up and it looks beautiful, that beautiful chicken curry. So you should get about three, three meals out of this, three lunches or three dinners or three breakfasts, whatever you like to eat it. yummy delicious lunches my body is saying where's the veggies so if you're like me um, you could also add probably about 100 grams of broccoli to each dish which will also give you added nutrients and also fill you up a bit longer as well so it's up to you guys some people don't have veggies in their curry um, just like this recipe I did it without veggies but it's also an extra option if you feel like adding veggies to your meal as well these look delicious so I'm now going to let these cool down before I put lids on them and then put them in the freezer so that I'll have ready to go meals for this week. So it has now been 10 minutes since the cauliflower zucchini bake is in the air fryer. Let's go see how it's going. Mmm, smells great. Oh, that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to turn the temperature down now to about 
120. And I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it back in for about five minutes. Which means it has only taken 15 minutes for this delicious veggie bake to cook. This looks great. Now because this is just a veggie bake and because I love to eat, I'm going to say this can be two servings as a meal. Yum. I'm going to say this yummy cheesy dish can be, you probably get two, two meals out of it. And there we have it. Meal prepping for the week done. Now this yummy veggie bake, obviously it's vegetarian, but if you wanted to add some more keto friendly foods to it, you can, whether it being almonds or bacon or different types of cheeses, you're obviously welcome to do that. But yeah, it's my creation today. Just wanted to do a quick video for you guys about how meal prepping is very important and how it can be very easy as well. So there we have it guys. That is my little video this morning about how to meal prep, what to meal prep and obviously my recipe for a yummy chicken curry and a gorgeous veggie bake. Cauliflower, zucchini and cheese. Yum. So I've only made five meals pretty much here today, but if you want to double the ingredients in any of these recipes, then at least you'll get five days of it. But because I'm going to mix it up and have probably some omelettes the other rest of the days, I thought this amount would be great just for me for the upcoming week. So I hope you guys enjoy my vlog today of Saturday cooking in the kitchen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And when I get free time, these recipes are going up on my website. But for now... Have a great weekend guys, keto on, enjoy your cooking and don't forget, taste before you serve it up. See you later.